So you loved our video 8 things that some scuba divers do wrong and newbie diving mistakes. Well, guess what? We're doing another mistake video! We spent at least 30 seconds reading through all of your different comments, having a giggle at what you guys and girls get wrong when scuba diving. And now, thanks to you, our awesome YouTube family, we have come up with another video cleverly titled 5 Things Every Scuba Divers Get Wrong. We really are trying to milk this one, aren't we? Number 5. Bracing Coral we, we assume you mean breaking coral. This is from Gavin Chambers on our video 8 Things Some Scuba Divers Get Wrong. So coral takes hundreds of thousands of years to slowly grow into a beautiful structure. And it only takes a second to bump into it, break it and kill it. I don't really care how good your buoyancy is, you can never be too far away from the reef, especially when there's current. So take your time and as your instructor told you, don't touch anything in the water. Number four, deflating the BCD to descend, but forgetting to switch from my snorkel to my regulator. This one's from Shinai Kira on 10 mistakes that newbie divers make. Yeah, your snorkel has a maximum depth of about 30 centimeters. Despite this, we still can't help doing this every now and then. Your face is in the water, you can breathe normally, a mouthpiece is in your gob, so your brain automatically thinks that it's a regulator. That's why a lot of divers don't use snorkels. They feel it just gets in the way and you can only use it on the surface. Number three, blowing the water out to clean the cylinder from Ryan Henderson on 10 mistakes that newbie divers make. You'll hear this on most dive boats and it scares the bejesus out of you. As someone randomly opens up a cylinder valve on the dive deck, just to get a minute amount of water out of the valve. This only serves to give the rest of the boat and the crew a heart attack as it can be quite loud. What's worse is if you do it right next to your regulator, you can actually blow water into your first stage, which is what you were trying to avoid in the first place. Number two, putting your mask on your forehead as a sign of distress from Egg, Eggy, Eggy McTee from 10 mistakes that newbie divers make. So you spent a good 80 pounds on a new dive mask. You've prepared it, you fitted a nice neoprene cover to the strap, you jump in the water, go for a dive and it's fantastic. You then get back up to the surface, put the mask on your forehead and a wave splashes it off. All you can do now is watch a very expensive mask slowly spiral down to the dark abyss. Some divers say that it's a sign of distress by having your mask on your forehead, but in my experience, the splashing and the shouting is a bit of a more obvious sign of distress. Now it's time for some honorable mentions. All of these come from Omar Sani from our video Newbie Diving Mistakes. <gasps> Forgetting your weight belt, forgetting your weights, not taking enough lead or taking too much lead, forgetting your fins, straying away from the group, thinking that you're better than you actually are. And number one, showing the go to the surface as the okay sign from Kajil underscore 2002. Where do these names come from? You see this all the time, especially as an instructor. I'm sure we've all done it early on in our training because you have to reprogram your brain about hand signals and what they mean. Are you okay? Or do you actually want to go up to the surface? I, I, I can't really tell. You seem pretty calm, so you probably don't want to go to the surface, but, but you might want to ask me a question that you can't ask under the water. So do you want to go to the surface or, or not? Are you okay? Which is it? I wasn't really asking because I'm interested, and now we're both swimming up to the surface again. Maybe we need to change all of the standard hand signals so that we don't have this confusion in the future. Let's all have a chat with all training agencies around the world and get them to change this. Let's, let's, let's see how far we get with that. So are you guilty of any of these? Don't be shy. Just admit it in the comments. Also, what else do pretty much every scuba divers get wrong? Let's discuss so we can make another video in a few months time. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on Facebook, just give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and safe diving.